Today we will learn about Internet Services. Internet stands for International Network of Computer. A network is an interconnection between two or more computers. The Internet is a network of networks that consists of millions of computers spread across the world. Internet allows us to share the information worldwide with just a mouse click. With the advent of internet, the old saying, world is too small, has been replaced by the new term, global village. Who is he? He is Tim Berners-Lee, founder of the World Wide Web. Okay, now let us understand brief history of internet. In 1969, when men walked on the moon, the U.S. Defense Department set an advanced research project agency, ARPA, for further research. They designed a network of four computers to exchange and share their data. This network was called APRAMET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Later, many universities were allowed to join this network and share the information. This was the beginning of networking of computers, which grew bigger day by day and gave birth to Internet, the technology which has radically changed our life. Earlier, Internet was used by engineers, scientists and computer experts for research purposes. Gradually, the network was made accessible to private agencies and general public. People started using it for sending messages and files between the computers. The most interesting thing about internet is that no single agency controls or maintains it. In India, internet services started on 15th of August 1995 through a government-owned company. BSNL. Some of the popular internet service providers, ISP in India, are BSNL, Tata, Airtel, Reliance, Idea, etc. Students, if you want to reserve and print railway tickets, then you should visit the site www.ircdc.co.in. Services on the internet. There are many facilities available on the internet which makes our life better. Some of the widely used internet services are as follows. WWW World Wide Web The World Wide Web is a large computer network where by using a browser such as Netscape, Internet Explorer, you can surf and get information. It consists of all the public websites connected to the internet worldwide, including the client devices such as computers and cell phones that access web content. The websites are identified by short, unique, global identifiers called URLs, Uniform Resource Locator. WWW contains billions of documents or bunch of pages called web pages. Each page consists text, graphics, video, audio and links to other web pages via hyperlink. Chatting. A chat is an online conversation over the internet in which text-based messages can be instantly sent back and forth. There are various types of chats available on the internet. One can chat through an instant messenger, a chat room, a chat website, etc. However, most of them require the user to register first. Apart from text chat, one can also interact with other users through voice as well as video chat. Chat rooms are places on the internet where one can converse with family members, friends, relatives, living at distant places, celebrities and with corporations about their various products, etc. Some of the popular chat software are Google Talk. Windows Live, Skype. To 
use these software, download them through internet and install. To charge using such software, you should have a user account. Students know the fact Nicholas Jenstorp and Danish partner Janus Fries are the founders of Skype. Alright, let us do an activity of chatting through Google Talk. Double click the Google Talk icon on the desktop. Enter your username and password in the given respective boxes. Click on sign in button. The Google Talk window opens. The other online users are indicated with a green dot. Click the username with whom you want to start a conversation. A chat window will appear. Type the message in the blank box at the bottom where the cursor appears and press the enter key. Video conferencing. It involves the use of video cameras connected to or more computers. Images and sounds are then sent through the internet where users not only hear each other but can also have a face-to-face -face conversation. This technology is mainly used for virtual meetings among a group of people to discuss political, business, medical, social affairs or any other agenda. We can see the most common example of video conferencing on news channels. E-commerce E-commerce stands for electronic commerce which means online commercial activities. Internet offers us convenient ways to shop from our home or office for almost everything such as air, rail, movie tickets, clothes, electronic items, books, gifts, etc. We can buy or sell new or second-hand goods also. This process of selling and buying products over the internet is called online shopping. Both products and services can be purchased by online shopping. One of the largest portals for selling and buying books is www.amazon.com. Students note the fact Flipkart was founded by Sachin Bansal L and Vinny Bansal R in 2007. It is an e-commerce company based in India. It has made online shopping quite popular across India. Let's know more. Amazon.com is a USA-based e-commerce company. It is world's largest online shopping website. Some useful sites for e-shopping are www.ebay.in www.homeshop18.com E-learning E-learning means electronic learning. It refers to the learning with the use of technology that enables people to learn anytime or anywhere. Learning through internet helps in imparting knowledge by overcoming the limitations of time, distance and resources. Internet acts as a global library for us. E-learning also includes learning from CD-ROM or video conferencing through satellite transmission. The study material can contain various types of media like audio, text, video and animation. E-learning is less expensive than traditional learning and can be used to impart training to a large group of students at a time. Some of the popular websites offering e-learning are http colon slash slash www.abcya.com www.elearningforkids.org http colon slash slash web tools for you to use dot wikispaces dot com 
www.gcflareandfree.org e-banking electronic banking is an advanced method of performing bank transactions through internet using e-banking one can check the available amount make ft fixed deposit transfer money to another account apply for loans and so on these transactions can be done from any part of the world if you have an internet connection on your computer. To perform e-banking, follow the given steps. Open the website of the bank in which you have registered online account. Enter username and password. Do the required transactions. Let's know more. PayPal is one of the most popular payment gateways founded in December 1998 that authorizes debit card and credit card payments. Internet Free Calls You can make free voice calls and video calls to anyone across the world using an internet connection. The only condition is that the particular software or application should be installed in the devices at both the ends. After installing the software on your mobile or computer system, you need to create an account on it. You can make free calls at much lower rates to anywhere in the world. Some software allows you to send free messages and videos along with free internet calls. Examples of such software or applications are Sky, Viber, Flink.com, Tango, Riotip. Let us now find out what email is. Email stands for electronic mail. It is the facility on the internet to compose, store and send and receive messages to any part of the world. The convenience, simplicity and affordability of sending mails on internet has totally changed the correspondence system. Email is the fastest way of sending mails where the postal address details like name, address, city, state, pin, country etc. have been replaced by the email address. The email address is given in the format info at kips.in We can also attach photos, videos or other important data along with our message. Some of the popular sites which provide the email facility are www.yahoo.co.in www.gmail.com and www.redditmail.com Who is he? He is Paul Butchett created Gmail and it is owned by Google. We shall discuss how to use email. To use email facility on the internet, first one has to create a personal email account by specifying a username. Password along with other particulars like name, address, date of birth, interest, qualification and such other aspects. You have already learned about all this in the previous class. Some of the commonly used features are as follows. Composing and sending mail. To write a mail, click on the compose option or any other similar option. It will open a new window wherein type the email address of the receiver, subject of the mail and the text in the body. After composing an email, click the send button on the toolbar. Let me give you an important tip. We can send the same mail to many persons by typing their email addresses separated by commas. Attaching a file. Email provides a facility to attach files for high speed delivery anywhere in the world. Attaching a file to an email is an easy way to send important documents or files, which can be photographs, videos, music, letters, text. To attach a file to an email, follow these steps. Click on the Attach a File icon on the toolbar at the bottom of the Compose window. The open dialog box will appear. 
Browse through your files and select the file you would like to attach. Click on the open button. The file gets attached to your mail. Now click on the send button. All right students, note that always remember you cannot send executable files or messages larger than 25 MB as an attachment. Replying and forwarding email. The reply option is displayed when we open an email. It is used to reply a received email. Click on the reply button and type in the text. Then click on the send button. The forward option is used to send any received mail to other email addresses. Adding a signature to a mail. A signature is a bit of personalized text such as contact information or favorite quote that is automatically inserted at the bottom of every mail you send. To create signatures, follow these steps. Click the gear icon in the upper right and then select settings option. Enter your new signature text in the box at the bottom of the page next to the signature option. Click on save changes tab. Log out or sign out. Click on the sign out button once you have finished reading or sending the emails. This option brings you out from your email account. Time for a fact file. www.bing.com is the latest search engine from Microsoft. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Internet is a network of networks that consists of millions of computers spread across the world. In India, Internet services started on 15th of August 1995 through a government-owned company, VSNL. A chat is an online conversation over the internet. Some of the popular chat software are Google Talk, Skype and Windows Live Messenger. The process of selling and buying products over the internet is called online shopping. E-learning means learning with the use of technology. E-banking is a way of performing bank transactions using internet. Email stands for electronic mail. It provides the facility to attach files for high-speed delivery anywhere in the world. A signature is a bit of personalized text that is automatically inserted at the bottom of every sent email.